Of all the canine race, the Scotch Collie is the most intelligent. The herder's helpmate and friend and gentleman's pet. He, with wonderful intuition, anticipates your wants to such a degree as to cause the rider to assert that the Collie reasons. The Poultry Monthly, September 1881 with testimonials like this, the Scotch Collie was among the most popular dog breeds at the turn of the 20th century, on farms and in the city. Around this time, the state of Missouri even considered breeding Scotch Collies and distributing them to farmers free of charge as a public service to benefit agriculture in the state. The breed had originated in the Scottish Highlands as a sheep herding dog. By the mid-1800s, they were well known across the British Isles for their intelligence and biddability. But it was their beauty that attracted the Kennel Club in the late 1800s. Dog show breeders began keeping Scotch Collies and breeding them towards their own idea of beauty, with little thought to maintaining their intelligence and working ability. By the end of the 19th century, there were already two sorts of Scotch Collies, the old-fashioned workers and the modern show sort. The situation deteriorated quickly, and by 1911 the old-fashioned type was already becoming scarce in some areas, when a man named Otis Barnum wrote to the publication Country Life in America about it. In part he said, As long as I can remember I have heard stories of the wonderful sagacity and faithfulness of Scotch Collies, but somehow since the advent of the modern sharp-nosed show type of Collie, these stories have been getting fewer. I believe that the old-fashioned Collie was one of the finest dogs that ever came to be the companion and helper of man. I wish country life in America could do something to save this noble breed from extinction, and I wish I could find out myself where I could get such a dog. And yet the genetic erosion of the old-time Scotch Collie continued through the 20th century as confirmation breeding morphed the original bloodlines into the pointy-headed dog we know today as the Rough Collie. The author of the book Lassie Come Home, Eric Knight, was inspired to write his story by the old-fashioned type collie he owned named Toots. And yet Hollywood cast Lassie as a more modern looking rough collie type. By the late 1980s, the old-time Scotch collie was virtually extinct when a few people in America began looking to see if any of these dogs remained alive. A handful of dogs were eventually located that fit the type of the original Collies and over the years since these have been carefully bred and increased in numbers. Today a dedicated group of people are working hard to preserve the unique characteristics of these dogs and to increase them to the point where they are no longer endangered, the Old Time Scotch Collie Association. This group works tirelessly to promote the Old Time Scotch Collie anywhere they may be of use today, on small farms, as service dogs, or just companions. The OTSCA works to maintain the intelligence and fitness for work in the breed along with their beauty. Please go to scotchcollie.org and consider helping the Old Time Scotch Collie Association to bring back the Old Time Scotch Collie.